Now, the latest from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Naomi Peskovitz with your daily news update. A teenage woman is dead this morning after a shooting on the city's northwest side. It happened in the 6500 block of Crandall Circle near the intersection of 65th and Michigan. Police say they were called to the area after a large fight broke out around 11 o'clock last night. Dispatchers then told officers they got calls saying several gunshots were heard in the area. When they arrived, they found an 18-year-old woman shot in the chest. Police say this was not their first call to the area that night. We were dispatched here earlier on a fight. Uh, officers got here and they did not uh, locate anyone. And then we got the subsequent uh, run back here at 11 o'clock where uh, the, the uh, shots were fired. Police detained one person, but that person is not considered a suspect. Several others were taken in for questioning. Today, friends and family will come together to honor the life of a 19-year-old murder this week. A prayer and candlelight vigil will be held tonight for David Phelps at German Church Park near 30th and German Church Road. Phelps was killed early Tuesday morning when a gunman forced his way into his home and shot him. Police and family are urging anyone with information on Phelps' killer to call Crime Stoppers at 262 TIPS. New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees has made a generous donation to his alma mater here in Indiana. Brees donated $1 million to the Purdue football program. He says, we just want to show how much we believe in our university and our football program, in our leadership and in the direction we are heading. Brees played at Purdue from 1997 to 2000 and set Big Ten records for career passing yards and touchdowns. They still stand 15 years later. Remember, you can always go to WTHR.com for your latest news and weather all day. Have a great weekend.